also prohibited in this country. Even in India, it is prohibited to force anyone to adopt any religion without his free will. But if you want to accept Islam, no one can prevent you, and even the country cannot prevent you. So if you want to accept Islam, I will say in Arabic and you repeat it, brother. Okay? Okay, sir. Ashadu. Uh, Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa Ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abu. Wa Rasuluhu. Wa Rasuluhu. I bear witness. Uh, can you repeat? I bear witness. I bear witness. I bear witness. That, that there is, there is no, God no God but Allah, but Allah and, and Prophet, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, peace, peace be upon him, peace be upon him is, is the, servant the servant and messenger, and messenger of Allah. Of Allah. MashaAllah, you are a Muslim brother. Thanks a lot. I would request that if you can come on the stage and take a copy of the Quran, so that you can be a better practicing Muslim. I'd like to give a translation of the copy of the Quran. I request a volunteer if they can give some copies of the Quran here. Brother, can you come on the stage, please? I'd like to give you a translation of the copy of the Quran so that it will help you to become a better practicing Muslim. Jazakallah, and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he accept your efforts and may he grant you Jannah, inshallah. The next question from Mike 2 in the middle of the Jan section. Yes, brother. Abhi, Dr. Jagin Naik, who said, I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. तो सब को मैं अल्लाह से प्रार्थना करता है कि ये लोग का संसार बाल बच्चे सुखी रहो। God came yes to yes for good protection only. Jackie Russian came here for good protection only. अच्छा अभी मैं मेरा नाम नारायण बंगले शायर धाराव में रहता है। मैं हिंदू है, लेकिन मैं कुरान को मानता है, मैं बाइबल को मानता है, मैं जीता को मानता है। I look equal for all, लेकिन मैं डॉक्टर साहब को ये पूछना चाहता है, शेख सैयद मल्ला पटान क्यों रखा? ब्राह्मण चत्तिये चंडाल सूत्र क्यों रखा? इसको आंसर अभी चाहिए। The brother before asking his question, he said that he says that there are lakhs, hundreds of thousands of people gathered here and he wishes that peace be on all these people. Then he said that Dr. Zakir Naik has come here to give good message and he's asking the question that he's a Hindu but he has read and he believes in the Quran, he believes in the Bible, he believes in the Veda and he's asking that why are there Pathan, Sheikh, Mullah, Brahman, Kshatriya, etc.? As far as the question is concerned, why are they Patan, Sheikh, Mullah? These are family names. No way, just because a per person is a Sheikh or a Mullah or a Patan does not make him superior to any other human being. The Quran says in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnaakum min zakrin wa unsa wa jalnaakum shu'umba wa qaba ila litaarafu inna khalaqnaakum in the loyat kaakum inna la alimun khabir O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other. Not that you shall despise each other. And the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa. The criteria for judgment in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's not sex, it's not caste, it's not color, it's not age, it's not wealth, it is taqwa. It is God consciousness, it is piety. Just because a person is born in a mullah family or a khan family or a sheikh family will not take him to jannah, but taqwa 
piety, righteous deed, God consciousness will take him to Jannah. But this is the Islamic concept. In the concept of Hinduism, the Vedas say, Almighty God created from the head the Brahmins. From the chest, Kshatriya. Brahmin are the learned class. Kshatriya are the warrior class. God, from his abdomen or his thighs, created the Vaishvas. That is the business class. And from the feet, the Shudras. That is the servant class, that is the slave. This is the concept of Veda. In Islam, no human being is superior or inferior because of birth. There is no caste system in Islam. It is there in Hinduism. And for more details, why this is, you can refer to my video cassette, similarities between Islam and, Krishna, <laughs> Islam and Hinduism. Now coming to your question, first part, you said that you believe in Quran, you believe in Bible, you believe in Veda. I request the people, at least believe that one book is 100% the word of God. Not two, three, four, at least one book. So the Christian will say, I believe Bible is 100% the word of God. The Hindu will say, I believe the Veda to be 100% the word of God. The Muslim will say, I believe that Quran is 100% the word of God. You, mashallah, believe in all three. Now, do you know there are many contradictory things in the Quran and the Bible and the Veda? Let's not discuss that. I'm asking you today, at least follow what is common. At least what is common in the Veda, Bible and Quran, which you believe, at least follow that. All these three scriptures say that God is one. This God has got no image. He has got no idol. He has got no picture. It's mentioned in the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6, verse number 4. Moses, peace be upon him, says, Shema Israelo, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. If you read the Hindu scriptures, it's mentioned in Shandogya Upanishad, chapter number 6, section number 2, verse number 1, Ekkam Evidityam, God is only one without a second. It's mentioned in the Svetasita Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19, and Yajurve, chapter number 32, verse number 3, Na Tasra Pratima Asti, of that God, there is no Pratima. Pratima in Sanskrit means an image, a photograph, a painting, a picture, a portrait, a sculpture, a idol. Of that God, there is no Pratima. Of that God, there is no image. Of that God, there is no photograph. There is no picture. There is no portrait. There is no painting. There is no sculpture. There is no idol. There is no statue. Quran says the same in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1. One to four. Kul wallahu ad, Allahu samad. Lam yulad, walam yulad, walam yukul lahu kufanad. Say there's God one and only. The absolute, the eternal. He begets not nor is he begotten, and there's nothing like him. I'm asking the question. Do you believe in one God, brother? Do you believe in one God? Kya aap ek bhagwan mein mante? Main abhi tak. भगवान ये क्या है मानता है आप बुद्ध परस्ती में मानते हैं ब्रह्म सत्यम जगन मिथ्या जीवो ब्रह्म एव ना परहा आप बुद्ध परस्ती मुक्तस्तु का जीना भाई साहब आप बुद्ध परस्ती में शरीर आप बुद्ध में गए तो कुछ नहीं आप बुद्ध परस्ती ये क्या है आप बुद्ध परस्ती में मानते हैं अब इतना है बुद्ध परस्ती में मानते उसको क्या है बुद्ध परस्ती मुझे ये चीज नहीं मानता है माशाल्लाह माशाल्लाह रूप एक एक नहीं मानता है। ब्रदर बिलीव इन वन गॉड डज नॉट बिलीव इन एडवोकेट। एक एक जो अल्लाह बोले तो आप बोले तो पाप जाता है, लाभ बोले तो पाप को आने के देता नहीं, उसका नाम अल्लाह है। ये आपका डेफिनेशन है, ये पूरा डेफिनेशन नहीं है। लाभ बोले तो पाप जाता है, माँ बोले तो पाप को आने रूप रेख को मानने वाला गार नहीं है गार ओनली बिलो विश्वास एक सत्य एक प्रमाण में चलने वाला को गार एक संतोष देता है आप वन काइंड ऑफ यू वाले गार डॉक्टर जाति रूप से वन काइंड ऑफ गार वो बुलाए तो इतना आदमी आया लेकिन वो गार आप जो भाई साहब बोल रहे हैं आपके वेद में लिखा है रिग्वे चैप्टर नंबर वन वर्ष नंबर हंड्रेड Hymn number 164, verse number 46. Ek kam sat vipra bahuda vidante. God is one, truth is one, but sages call him a variety of names. Aapne kaha, ke doctors akir nai God hai. 
डॉक्टर जाकिर नायक गॉड नहीं है और हो भी नहीं सकता हूं मैं गॉड का क्रिएशन हूं मैं अल्लाह का बंदा हूं मैं अब्दुल्ला हूं अल्लाह नहीं हूं